Hey everyone, Susan Winter here. Welcome to my channel for my subscribers. Love you, love you, love you. Thanks for coming back every week. Thanks for supporting my live show. And for those of you who are my YouTube members, thank you so much for your participation and your generosity. You know, I've been asked so many times uh, by different interviewers why we have now arrived at this state of chronic bad dating behavior. And almost every week, I'm answering a question on some new term for horrific behavior in the dating world. And I tell this to journalists, and it occurred to me, I've never really shared it with all of you. So I have four reasons that we are now in the situation that we are in. And they are the consequences of certain conditions. So I will begin it by saying that this is the outcome of a decade of hookups. And the hookup culture, although it freed many people to be spontaneous and not play a role, it also at the same time set a template for relationships being temporal and easily disposable. The birth of the word situationship was something that described the churn that you were in with a person where you're sexual, you're seeing them, but you don't really know what you have. And along with that came a new element that I will consider as point number one, which is what I call justification. You see, when you've stripped a label from a person intentionally, the human mind then jumps to, oh, well, I'm not really in a relationship with them. They're not really my partner. So, you know, I don't need to be responsible for what I'm doing here because it's, you know, it's just all casual. We're just going with the flow. We're having fun. So that justification of not technically having a relationship allows for the possibility of very bad behavior that goes under the hall pass of it, it isn't really a relationship. So, you know, like nobody expects that. I'm not held responsible for what I create, not my fault. So therefore it breeds the lack of responsibility. That's number one. And remember, justification is this incredible thing that we do, this mental seduction where we allow ourselves to believe that as long as we can make it have a meaning for us and we create a justification, we can do any horrific act imaginable because it's justified. Therefore, it's okay. So justification. Number two, and I had to write these down so I could remember them. And the, believe me, I could have said 15, but I think four is good. Okay. Um, the sense of cowardice that has developed in our time period because there is a lack of responsibility that's been riding concurrently through this entire decade. So the cowardice comes from the fact that I really don't want to meet your explosive feelings if I tell you that I'm not into you. I really don't want to deal with the fact that I was seeing somebody else. You knew I wasn't seeing you exclusively. And like, why do I have to now be made to feel badly for that? So there's a cowardice in being honest and people don't realize how much power and confidence it takes to be direct and honest and forthright. It's really powerful. But cowardice is the way to sneak out of a situation that feels uncomfortable. And the other side of this cowardice is that the person has a weakness and they fear retribution. They're cowardice because they might be playing three, nice, nice. You know, they don't want to hurt your feelings. They really got into something. Let's say they're a good person. They got into something. They kind of thought they liked you. Then they saw somebody else and they weren't sure. Then somebody talked them out of it. Then they realized they're just too busy. And then they didn't, then it just uh, wasn't, yeah. but they don't want to say it. They're afraid to say it because there's going to be consequences and they want to be nice. They want to be a nice guy. They want to be a nice girl. They don't want to hurt your feelings. So it's linked to cowardice in that they don't want to be direct because they don't want to hurt you. So they will probably ghost you or slow fade or just breadcrumb you or put you into orbit because they really don't know what to do with you. And it's because they're afraid to face a consequence 
for their action and they still want to be viewed as being nice. But the flip side of the former, the cowardice is just brute selfishness. Like, hey, I don't feel like having that conversation. So whatever, it's inconvenient for me. All right, and the very last thing that I want to talk about, let's see, I hope I have it. Oh, our ongoing lack of comfort with communication. And this is not anybody's fault. It's a convergence of technology and the time period and the shifting social mores. It's just the, the way that we have been communicating has gone from direct communication in person or on the phone, which is like, I, I know people don't even set up their voicemail anymore, to texting, which is abbreviated and truncated. So your emotions have to be truncated to emojis, because I don't know what to say. Oh my God, this is like, what am I gonna say? I can't support, I'll just oh, thumbs up or yeah, yeah, or whatever, just to get out of the conversation. So we have learned, those of us who did know how to speak have learned to make it small, or disregard it or put it in some other format. And then generations coming up who've not had a lot of back and forth, personal, direct, real, solid communication because the technology has blocked them, because their favorite friend is their phone, because nobody else does it. You know, the lack of direct eye contact, it, it has stilted an entire group of people and it makes me worry. So when something happens, you know, what's going to, there's no recourse. Even if you knew what you wanted to say, and that's assuming a lot, you might not have the courage to say it. So this is where it gets really tricky for everyone. The convergence of all these things, riding in a hookup culture where everything is casual and everything's whatever, it has bred all these horrific terms. And we have a new one every week. I, I imagine these nomad journalists go, oh, I'm going to find one. Oh, I'm going to put my name on this one. I'm going to write an article. So I see this all the time. But you know, the buck can stop with you. The best thing you can do as somebody dating in this time period is to up your skills as a communicator, know what you want, be able to I don't care. I think the, you know, some people call it bulldozing. I, you know, I have no problem with hardballing. It sounds like a vicious term, but it, it actually means the tactful relay of what you want in a relationship. Please don't worry that, oh, if I tell them what I want, then they're going to use it against me. It doesn't always mean that. They might, but you will filter out a lot of really bad behavior by beginning to be honest from the get-go. And it also creates a, a shoot for people to go through. Think of it as your terms of service or your rules of engagement. And once they know this, it would be harder for them to try to pretend they never heard it. If you never discuss it, people can pretend they didn't see it or didn't understand what you meant. If you are very clear in your discussion, it's not like they can go back and go, oh, um, I didn't know you were looking for like a really honest relationship. And I didn't know you were looking to just date one person. I kind of got confused. No, they can't say it. By filtering, you will be calling in a better quality of people and eliminate heartbreak right from the very beginning. So I have, I've been sharing this before. I've been sharing this in, uh, different articles and I've been sharing it in different interviews and you know whether it's written or it's on camera my buzzword of 2023 is filter 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 I know there are thousands of ways to find love and we know most of them but for those of you who don't want to be unnecessarily hurt look for people who can play at the level you play look for people who can articulate what they want just as you can and if you feel you could do it better please consider taking a course, you know, or work with me. I'd love to have you because I work on the communication skills. I never thought that would be a big seller. It sounds kind of boring. It is, it is crazy how much people really need it now, especially because digging to get the truth 
can be such arduous work. So Susan Winter from SusanWinter.net, please subscribe if you like this. Love to see what you're thinking in the chat and check out if, oh, if you don't want to see continued dating games, check out the dating games guide below. It's my best 10 hours, anything you want, AI driven. You mention one word, text in one word. It's gonna take you to the exact place that I'm speaking about that. And in the meantime, if you want a consultation, go to SusanWinter.net. Thanks everyone. And you can weather the storm of this time period, know what you want, be able to state it clearly and find somebody who's playing at the same level. That will really help you. Thank you, everyone.